Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew. In this channel, we'll be looking at emerging markets to explore big opportunities for growth. If it's your first time in my channel, please feel free to go through all the videos. If you see what you like, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, I've been seeing a lot of people watching, about 90% of you guys are watching, but have not yet hit that subscribe button. It would support my channel a whole lot if you hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell will tell you when I release a video. If you're new to the crypto market as well as the stock market, feel free to use the two links that I have in the description box to open an account with Webull or Robinhood. In doing so, you support my channel, you'll get free stocks, and I'll also get free stocks. Again, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I'm just giving you information. Last but not least, please remember that I am not a financial consultant. Everything I say is strictly my opinion. Use this information as preliminary information or do whatever it is that you find suitable. Just make sure that you are DD, you do diligence before you uh, invest. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So in this video, we're just gonna be talking about Asia Broadband, AABB. A lot of you might be so disappointed with the fact that it ended at around 25 cents today. If you were to go to Stockswoods, there were about 40,000 people watching the stock at one point and sentiment was high. This morning, it was one of the top heavily uh, traded. At one point, it went up to about 33 cents or so at the highest, and now it's at, at 25 cents. In the last videos, I mentioned, you know, people could be taking profits at this point, selling the news. Sure enough, today, that happened. And I think this is only setting up a good buying opportunity for those people who are waiting on the sideline because the crypto exchange will launch tomorrow. We're talks about people saying, uh, what if AABB delays launch without telling us? Being an investor in this company for a while, I've seen that they always go through with their with their planning. And I don't think that they're going to delay it. It makes no sense for them to delay uh, their crypto exchange launch because this quarterly earnings will come out December 31st. I need, They already know that it's going to be a positive quarterly earnings. So that's the reason why they chose tomorrow. Uh, what's better than to launch your cryptocurrency exchange followed by a positive quarterly earnings. And so for that reason, I just don't not think that they're going to delay it further. You know, I was disappointed, I actually went back to 25 cents. But one way to look at it is that, you know, we've shaken off all the bears. All the people that are still holding on at this point are people who believe in the company are who are in it for the long haul. And so to me, if you if we think of it this way, 25 cents is a really strong support line. I anticipate that AABB will up tomorrow because all the shorts are gone and it's a good setup for buy tomorrow. I prefer to see AABB grow slowly but steadily um, because in doing so, we're not going to have a big sell-off gen come January 1st. Many people are holding on to AABB and not taking additional gains. Any gains, additional gains will be count towards 2021. So January First would be the first day people can take gains and it would be for the next tax year. Today's move was much expected, but tomorrow is going to be a positive movement upward is what I'm thinking. So just my thoughts. Oh, comment below and let me know what you think. Again, thank you so much for stopping by to support the channel. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow. Good luck, everyone.